He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Okay, let's take a look at a problem regarding gravimetric analysis. So the question is, a 0.4550 gram solid mixture containing calcium sulfate is dissolved in water and treated with an excess of barium nitrate, resulting in the precipitation of 0.6168 grams of barium sulfate. So let's look at the equation that is associated with this. So we've got some calcium sulfate and then remember we are treating this with an excess of barium nitrate and then that is going to generate a barium sulfate precipitation and then calcium nitrate that's just going to be spectator ions and so we have some solid mixture some of it is calcium sulfate some of it is something else we're not sure and what we want to figure out is what percentage of that mixture was calcium sulfate and so we're going to do gravimetric analysis in order to figure this out. And so when you're ready, give this a try. So up top, let's put this equation and then let's put our information. So we know that we got 0 0.6168 grams of a barium sulfate precipitate. So we were able to get that precipitate, remove it from solution, find the mass, and we got that mass of the precipitate. And we want to use that information to figure out, first of all, what mass of calcium sulfate had to react in order to generate that much barium sulfate precipitate. So let's do some stoichiometry here. First of all, whenever we do stoichiometry, we know we don't want mass, we need moles because moles allow us to do stoichiometry. So 0 0.6168 grams of barium sulfate times one mole over 233.38 grams, that's the molar mass of barium sulfate, that is gonna give us 0 0.002643 moles. So that is the moles contained in the barium sulfate precipitate that we got, we measured the mass for. And so now what we also need to understand is that if that's the number of moles of barium sulfate precipitate, that is also equal to the number of moles of calcium sulfate that reacted. Because we have a one-to-one -one ratio here. For every one calcium sulfate, we get one barium sulfate. So the moles of barium sulfate, that's equal to the moles of calcium sulfate that reacted. So now all we have to do is convert that into a mass of calcium sulfate. So we're gonna take 0 0.002643 moles of calcium sulfate and multiply that by 136.14 grams per mole. That is the molar mass of calcium sulfate. And we end up with 0 0.3598 grams of calcium sulfate. So this gravimetric analysis allowed us to figure out what mass of calcium sulfate was in the solution. And so we just take the 0 0.3598 grams of calcium sulfate that were in solution and divide by 0 0.4550 grams, which was the mass of the initial solid mixture before we put it into solution, times 100, and we find out that 79.08% of that solid mixture was calcium sulfate. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.